Germany is one of the world's most attractive and historically significant countries. Germany is a land full of fairy tale villages, infinite castles, and enchanting scenery just waiting to be discovered. Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the best places to visit when you're traveling to Germany. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Number 25. Zugspitze. Zugspitze, Germany's tallest peak, stands at 2,962 meters. It's without a doubt one of the country's most magnificent mountains. Zugspitze is located in southern Germany, and the most convenient way to reach the summit is by cable car, which costs roughly your 60 and is one of the world's largest condoles and engineering marvels, as well as a little scary climbing up. You can tour the mountain and travel via this tunnel, which will take you across the Austrian side of Zugspitze after you reach the top. Number 24. Ibsi. The summit cross may be seen from the German side of the platform. After visiting Zugspitze, take the cable car down to Ibsi Lake. With its clear water and tree-dotted islands, it's known as the Maldives of the Alps. Walking along the lake is a lovely way to pass the time amid the groves of trees and a great way to unwind on the coastline. Number 23. Wagebridge Sea. This is one of Germany's most picturesque locations. It's a gorgeous little lake set in the mountains with a smattering of farm huts dotting the hillside. The lake is surrounded by the Carvendel Alps, which are wonderfully placed. Take a walk around the area and watch the sunset for some spectacular natural vista. Number 22. Berchtesgaden. This is one of Germany's most beautiful cities, located just two hours from Munich and set in the Bavarian Alps. Batsman Mountain is a strangely shaped mountain that stands over the town, almost as if it were bitten in half. Berchtesgaden has a plethora of gorgeous churches to see. Explore the town, admire the cathedral's architecture, and seek out secret vantage points for the best views. Number 21. Eagle's Nest. Hitler's Eagle's Nest is located in Berchtesgaden. This is an excellent place to visit if you're interested in WW2 history. The Eagle's Nest was erected in 1939 for Hitler's 50th birthday and presented to him in 1940. You could take a bus up to the Eagle's Nest, then travel through a deep tunnel into the mountain, ending in a circular area that leads to a golden elevator. Hitler only visited the Eagle's Nest and the road leading up to it 14 times, despite the fact that it cost over your 200 million to build. This can be due to Hitler's fear of heights, as well as his fear of taking the elevator. Number 20. Konigsee. Glaciers formed Lake Konigsee, giving it the feel of a fjord in Norway or New Zealand. Tank a boat ride to the lake's far end, which costs roughly your 15 and takes about 15 minutes. The first trip was to the famous St. Bartholomew's Church, which is located at the end of the lake and can be reached via a 10-minute stroll. The view is breathtaking and the lakes are crystal pure, encircled by towering mountain walls. Number 19. Dresden. Dresden, located in eastern Germany near the Czech Republic border, is a stunning city constructed on the Elbe River. Dresden was recognized for its Baroque and Rococo design up until the 20th century, and it was a stunningly beautiful city, but tragically, airstrikes nearly devastated the city during World War II. The city's reconstruction took decades to complete. Dresden is now one of Germany's most popular tourist destinations, earning the nickname Florence of the Elbe. Number 18. Basta Bridge The Basta Bridge, which is located in Saxon, Switzerland, and is a famous rock structure, part of the Sandstone Mountains, is a lovely natural location near Dresden. For nearly 200 years, it has been a popular tourist destination. A wooden bridge was built into the rock formation in 1824, but it was eventually replaced by the current bridge. Number 17. The Danube. Many attractive cities, villages, and castles have been erected along the riverbanks in Germany, which is home to some of Europe's most important rivers. 
The Danube, which begins in the Black Forest and drains into the Black Sea on Romania's coast, is one of the most important rivers in Europe. Paso, one of the most well-known Danube cities, is located near the Austrian border and is known as the City of Three Rivers since it is built on the junction of the Danube, Inn, and Ill rivers. As the rivers converge, the many colors of the rivers may be seen. Number 16. Rhine River The Rhine is Germany's longest river, beginning in Switzerland and ending in the North Sea after passing through major cities such as Cologne and Dusseldorf. Many cities and castles line the Rhine River's banks, with the false Grafenstein Castle being one of the more noteworthy. It was constructed in the 14th century as a coal station for passing ships. A chain was erected across the river to ensure that ships paid the toll and disobedient sealers were imprisoned in the castle's cell. Number 15. Mosul. The Mosul is another notable river in Germany. Located in western Germany, the Mosul River is home to some of Germany's best wine regions with terrace vineyards lining the river's hillsides. Number 14. Kakum Castle. The old castle, erected in the 1100s, made its money by collecting shipping tools from passing ships down the river. It was destroyed by the French in 1689, but in 1860, a wealthy merchant from Berlin rebuilt the ruins. Today, it sits atop a hill overlooking the lovely town of Kohan. Number 13. Lake Constance. This vast lake, which is located not only in Germany but also borders Austria and Switzerland, is Europe's second largest by volume. Lindau, a picturesque village on the lake, is one of the most beautiful places to visit. It's the fact that it's on an island that makes it so special. It was originally mentioned by a monk in the 9th century, and it grew into quite a fortified city during medieval times. It is now a major tourist destination. Mearsburg, a historical town with wonderful colored houses, is another attractive city on Lake Constance. It is located directly on the shoreline and is a historical town with beautiful colored buildings. Number 12. Berlin. With a population of over 3.6 million people, Berlin is now a vibrant capital. It's a spectacular city with a difficult past. Berlin was first mentioned in the 13th century and it was the headquarters of Hitler's Third Reich during World War II, when it became the most extensively bombed city in history. Following the war, Berlin was divided into two parts, East and West. In 1990, with the conclusion of the Cold War, East and West Berlin were reunited. The Rattenberg Gate is a neoclassical landmark from the 18th century that serves as Germany's national symbol of peace and unity. You can also visit the Berlin Wall Memorial to witness the historical wall's relics. Number 11. Hamburg. Hamburg is located on the Elbe River in northern Germany. It is Germany's second largest city after Berlin, thanks to its access to the North Sea and its long history as a port city. It is now Europe's third largest port. Due to all of the canals, Hamburg has around 2,500 bridges, making it the city with the most bridges in Europe. The Spikerstadt, the world's largest warehouse area, is a truly stunning sight in the city. The Alistar Lakes, a combination of two man-made lakes that are often full of sailboats in the summer, are another gorgeous place in the city. Number 10. Lübeck. Lübeck, Germany's second largest city on the Baltic coast, is only an hour's drive from Hamburg. Lübeck is well known as the de facto center of the Hanseatic League, a medieval institution that controlled maritime trade from the 13th through the 15th centuries. Lübeck remained a major trading port on the Baltic Sea even after the Hanseatic League disbanded in 1669. Lübeck is now one of northern Germany's most picturesque cities, with its distinctive church towers earning it the nickname City of Seven Towers. The Holsten Gate, which served as the city's gate, was completed in 1464. It is now a museum that serves as the city's symbol. Number 9. Schwein Castle The Schwein Castle is one of northern Germany's most stunning palaces. 
It's around an hour's drive from Hamburg. The castle is located on an island in Lake Schorman. Fortresses have been on the island since the 10th century, but the majority of the castle you see today was constructed in the 19th century. The castle is known as the Neuschwanstein of the North because it is considered one of Europe's outstanding examples of Romanesque architecture. Number 8. Cologne The 2,000-year-old city of Cologne, located on the Rhine River in western Germany, is rich in history and beauty. It was founded in the 1st century AD as a result of its strategic location, along with one of Europe's primary commerce routes. During the medieval and renaissance periods, it rose to be one of the major cities north of the Alps. Unfortunately, Cologne was one of the most seriously bombed cities during WW2, but it has since been restored. The Cologne Cathedral is the city's most prominent attraction. The building began in 1248 and was not completed for nearly 600 years until 1880. Number 7. Frankfurt Frankfurt is one of Europe's major financial cities and the headquarters of the European Central Bank. It is located in west-central Germany. It is brimming with stunning towers. Apart from the towers, Frankfurt is a lovely medieval city. Romerburg, a picturesque town square flanked by colorful timber buildings, is one of the most popular destinations. Number 6. Heidelberg Heidelberg is a medieval city on the Neckar River, roughly an hour's drive from Frankfurt. Heidelberg is most famous for its university, which dates back over 600 years, and is Germany's oldest institution. The bridges that cross the Neckar River are some of the most popular sites. Number 5. The Black Forest Located right on the border of France, the region is famous for its dense forest and picturesque villages and is often associated with the Brothers Grimm fairy tales. Number 4. Freiburg One of the most prominent cities in the Black Forest in Freiburg, it's a vibrant university town with something incredible. Number 3. Rothenburg You'll feel as if you're walking through a fantastic movie when you visit Rotenburg. It is one of Europe's most well-preserved medieval towns. Rotenburg thrived during the Middle Ages due to its location at the crossroads of European trade routes. Rotenburg rose to become Germany's second-largest city at the beginning of the 15th century, but it endured adversity in the 17th century, including the Thirty-Year War and the Bubonic Plague. Rotenburg's growth was slowed due to a lack of resources, which helped to retain the town's medieval appearance. Today, Rotenburg retains its medieval charm, and it has been used as a backdrop for Disney films such as Pinocchio. Visit the well-known floating corner or take in the stunning scenery. Number 2. Munich The magnificent city of Munich is a three-hour drive away. Munich, often known as the capital of Bavaria, is located in southern Germany, roughly 50 kilometers from the Alps. Munich was brutally destroyed by over 70 air attacks during WW2, but it has since been rebuilt to its former glory. The Marienplatz Central Square, where the new town hall with its spectacular clock tower and historical sculptures is located, is one of the most popular tourist destinations. Number 1. Neuschwanstein Castle It was the inspiration for Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle and is one of Europe's most gorgeous castles. The castle is located in the southernmost point of Germany, superbly situated in the mountains with a spectacular 360-degree view over the Bavarian Alps and the town below. The castle's construction began in 1869. During WW2, the SS considered blowing up the castle to keep it from falling into enemy hands, but this was never done. The castle now receives over 1.4 million visitors every year, making it a popular tourist destination. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations 
and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos. 